Okay, this is just a kind of uh, advancement on my last video on rotation of magnetic fields. I'm using a sphere magnet this time, again. Just want to show you that the red side is north, if you see that. Blue side is south, okay? So that's, that's stated, said, and done. Blue is south, red is north. If you've seen my videos on magnetism, you know that a magnet, like I use this wheel, and I put arrows on the edge. Like if I put this blue down, the south side down, and I put the blue down, the magnet rotates that way, okay? The red side up, you see the arrows, arrows are going that way. All these arrows go the same way, okay? Edgeways, that way, the south side, they're all rotating the same direction. This is cool. What I'm going to show you is I'm going to put the blue side straight down, which that makes our rotation this way. That's how the magnetic field of that magnet right there is rotating that way, just like that. Now, an electric current off to the side, which would be at the equatorial plane between the north and south, right? So, when I energize it, and I'm DC this way, I'm guessing the rotation of it's this way, but I think it's the acceleration of the direction is all that the electric current has to do with the magnetic field of the magnet. So watch. And I'm going to zoom in for this. Well, maybe. We'll zoom in, turn the current on. Let me put it straight south down. It pulls it in. You see that? It pulls it in. So the current's going this way. The magnetic field is rotating in the same direction. Let me back up again. It pulled the current in. So the rotation of the magnetic field is basically going in the same direction on this side. See how the arrows are going with the direction of the rotation, or the direction of the rotation of the arrows is going with the current. Red to ground, positive to negative, going with it. So it pulled it into the magnet. The magnet pulled it in. Hang on, I gotta reset here. I had that. So that's what the blue side down. Now let's put the blue side up. And that means this is flipped this way. So now our magnetic field is rotating this way, which means since it's on that side of the electric current, it's going against it. See that? But if I move the magnet over here, it's going with it. Okay? So what I did in my last video, but I wanted to show this, this it gives you obvious results, obvious explanations of what's going on here. If I put the magnet in that orientation, blue side up, the arrows go with the direction of flow of current, positive and negative. I put it on this side, they go against it, okay? So now we're going against it. And then we'll do it. Oops, too far apart, just a minute. Going against it, and it pushes it away. I don't like it. And I'll zoom in. So you can see better. It pushes it away. Don't like it. Don't like it. Going against it. Okay? And what the... One well, of the viewers suggested, let me zoom back out. On my last video, I tried to show, but this one I'm going to show it for sure. Now I can turn the magnet this way with the north to it, which would be this way. See the north? It's going that way. So it's going down this way. You see these arrows on top? But we're using the north side because we're on that side of the magnet. The magnet is north facing the electric current, so it's like what you're seeing here. 
the arrows are going like that. The direction of rotation of the magnetic field is going like that. And like I'd said before, I can't find any magnets that rotate different than what I'm showing you. I've been through magnets from I don't know how many years back, back in the 70s. So now we're north that way, showed you the rotation. And it pulls it in. But it pulls it down towards the wood. The wood's burning. Okay? It kind of pulled it down, but it pulled it in. Now I'm going to flip the magnet this way with the blue towards it, which is going to be this way. The rotation is going to be like that. Now it's kind of going against it, but we're on this side of it, like that. We're going with it on the positive side and against it on the negative side. Okay? Now watch. And I'll zoom in. I'll turn my magnet a little bit. Still pulls it in, but it's pulling it up. It's not pushing it down to the wood, it's pulling it up. See the difference? Okay. Now, here's the cool part. Let me zoom back out. Now, if I turn the magnet this way, which would be blue to your left, red to your right, but it's rotating like this. If you see the arrows, it's coming towards us, basically coming towards us on top, okay? The side, blue side's there, red side's there, so our meeting in the middle at the equatorial plane, they meet and are still going in the same direction, like so. Now watch this. Let me zoom it in. Now watch this. It kind of twists it. <laughs> you see that twist in it? It's twisting it. There it is right there. Twisting it. High on the left, low on the right. Remember that. High on the left, low on the right. Now reverse that. And I can get the wheel up here if you wish. Put the blue this way. I may zoom back out. Now the magnetic field's going away from us on top, okay? Because I've got the blue on this side now, okay? Red on that side, north there, blue here. And it's going that way, rotating away from us on top. And zoom in. And now watch what happens. Now it's high on the left, on the right, and low on the left. Reverse. I run the magnet the other way. It's high on the right, on the left. Up on the left, down on the right. Turn it. Up on the right, down on the left. I mean, it's obvious. And if I put the equatorial plane this way, straight up, blue side up, pushes away, blue side down. Red side up, north up, pulls it in. And I can just swap the magnet on this side and reverse that. Pulls it that way. Pushes it that way. Flip the magnet over, blue side up. Pulls it. Put it on this side, pushes it. Just more to show you proof of the rotation of the magnetic field interacting with an electric current. It's not so much the rotation of the magnet or the electric current. It does have a lot to do with it, but it's the mainly the direction the current's moving, and especially in DC, AC, it's back and forth, so that everything I you saw would go back and forth just as quick as the cycles of the AC would. But on DC, it's obvious. Just want to throw this one in there. I think it's cool. And it just backs up my other one, but this is a little more explanatory with the uh, input from the viewer. Here's his name, like I showed before. 
So in this orientation, I'm going to do this real quick without even using the current. We're blue side up on that side going against it. That's why it pushes it away with the blue side up. It's going against the direction of the current. With the red side up, it's going with the current, so it will pull it in. Now what's cool is when I turned it this way with the equatorial plane, with it rolling this way, the reason that you get it high on one side and low on the other is because as that rotates, it pulls it in with the rotation and lets it go with the rotation. So it's pulling it in like in this situation, it's pulling it in since we're over here, it's pulling it in down on the blue, but it has to come out coming up on the red. It has no choice. And then when I reverse that, it's the same thing, but reversed. Since we're on that side, the red's pulling it up, and on the bottom side, the blue's taking it down. You see what I'm saying? The red's taking it up, the blue's taking it down. So when you see the electric current still going across, that's why it twists it. It's pulling one side up or down, and the other side reversed. It's twisting it, okay? It's going one way over here and another way over there because it's coming in on the top, or whatever side of the rotation is going, it's either going up or down here and has to do the reverse over here, okay? Comes in, whichever side, comes out the opposite. Equal and opposite. Laters.